Hello appraisers, this is Brandon Rich with Choice Valuation. So in this video I'm going to be going over how to do a custom export setup in a matrix MLS system. So for those of you anywhere in the country who are using a matrix system, this is the video you want to watch to show you how to do that. Now the first thing you want to do is go to choicevaluation.com, that's my website right here, and click on Spark. This is for use in the Spark software system and then click on spark coverage and here is the list of all the MLS systems that it's potentially working in and the only system it currently works in that's a matrix system is CR MLS so that's the one I'm going to choose now this video will still work to show you how to use a matrix system to set up a custom export even if you're not in CR MLS you'll still be fine watching this the only thing that's specific to CR MLS is going to be this long list of uh, fields right here. That is specific to your system, so that's why you need to make sure and click on the one that's for you. This one is for CRMLS, which is around in the LA area. Okay, so I have that. I'm going to bring this over so you can see both the MLS window and the uh, choice valuation screen at the same time. I'm going to scroll down to this field list. Now I will tell you that if you prefer to just read the instructions on the website and go through it that way that's totally fine you're gonna get the same information the video is just for those appraisers who prefer to see how to do it this way and to kinda of just follow along as I do it okay so I'm gonna bring up that list of fields starting here and this of course is a matrix system on the left here the first thing you do is hover over towards the top and click uh, uh, hover over my matrix and then scroll down to settings and then left click settings okay and now on this screen you just want to click custom exports okay now here's our list of exports if you haven't done this before then you probably don't have anything in this window that's okay and all you do is you click this button that says add export and also I should mention you want to verify that this says residential you want to make sure that says residential and then click add export okay so this is the window we start out with and this is where we're going to go through the process of creating our custom export first thing you do is you name it I already have one in this system called spark so I'm just going to name it spark one but I, whatever name you prefer to use for this is fine just make sure you remember that name and use that name going forward whenever you're uh, using this with the spark program so you name it you name it and then you click down here you click label and you make sure that comma is checked so make sure it just says label and comma those are important and that you name it okay so now all we do is we go through each one of these fields and make and bring them from this left column over to the right column which is empty right now so I'll start at the top it says acres over on this is over on the choice valuation website uh, for your specific coverage area so I'm gonna start with acres at the top and I'm gonna find acres over here left click on it left click add go down to the next one on the list assessors parcel number left click on it left click add association amenities left click on it left click add and you do this as you you see how it's gonna work here you just click on each item that's over in this list you click on it over here and then you click add so that it goes into this window once this window is fully populated then you click save what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, pause this so you don't have to watch me labor through this. And I also should point out that I, I understand that this list looks long and a little bit intimidating. But if you get anything wrong, when you go to use Spark, it will tell you which field is missing. If you happen to skip over one or you choose an incorrect one by accident, it'll tell you what you're missing. You can just come right back in, in here and switch it over. And again, this is just a one-time process. You only have to do this once. You hit save and you never have to do it again. So don't don't be too intimidated by it okay I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and finish up my list okay so now that I've got the list finished up I just verified my name in there is what I want I've got label checked I've got comma checked and I hit save and there you see we just added spark one it's now there and again if you if you realize you did something wrong or you want to change anything you just click the one you want to change click edit it brings you back into that window we were just in and then you click save again after you make the change you want and I'm gonna click done okay so now I'm just going to do a search so I'm gonna go up here I'll do a residential search I'll make it quick here 
Okay, and once I have my search completed, scroll down, you just click on results. It brings up your results screen and you click all to select all of them. Of course, if you don't want all of them for any reason, you just uncheck the ones you don't want. And then at the bottom, you click on export. It's going to verify for you how many records it's exporting. Now, Spark will allow you to export up to 15 per file. So if you have, for example, a file for your uh, sales grid, you can have up to 15 comps in that sales grid. If you have one for your rentals, you can have up to 15. And if you have one for a separate uh, listings addendum that you're doing, whether it's an REO or a traditional listings addendum, you can also have 15 in there. So now that we're on this screen, after I clicked Export, you just select this drop-down box and you find the one that's Spark or whatever you named it and then you click export and that's all there is to it I have this window pop up here I can choose to save or open I'm gonna save it I prefer to do that just to be safe and it allows me to decide where I'm gonna put it on my computer and also what I'm gonna name it I'll name it test and hit save and that's all there is to it now there is one other thing I want to show you and that is if I decide to do a rental, now rentals are slightly different and the instructions are also on the website. It tells you exactly what to do with rentals right here. It says in all caps here, important, and it tells you what to do for rentals. It's slightly different. So for rentals, you don't have to make that separate long export list. All you need to do, and I will show you that now, let's go ahead and do a search. Okay, I've got that search ready to go for rentals. I'm going to click results, just like we did at the other. And I'm going to select them all. And I'm going to click export. And here's where you do something differently. So with rentals, instead of choosing Spark, because it's not going to exist, because we haven't made an export for rentals, you click full. Full gives us all the fields we need for rentals. So you click full, you choose export, and that's all there is to it. Again, this pops up down here. Now, this will look slightly different depending on what browser you're using. I'm doing this in Internet Explorer, and there's different options, but I'm sure you're, most of you have done this before and saved or opened a file from the Internet in one way or another. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're just going to click Save As. We'll name it Rental, and we are all set. That's all there is to it. If any of you have any issues with this, you can't seem to get it to work, please just uh, give me a call or shoot me an email. My contact information is on the website. Again, it's choicevaluation.com. You just click about and that has my contact information. Uh, give me a call or shoot me an email and I will definitely help you out with this process. And uh, again, it is just a one-time setup though, so don't don't get too concerned about it. Once you have this done one time and you saved it, you're you're good to go. Never have to do it again. All right. Thanks everybody for watching.